Thank you very much. Thank you. It's good to be here. I'm only here, of course, because Vita Sorrenti is sick this morning. But it's good to be here nonetheless. So thank you for having me. I, I want to thank Cathy from Maryvale for having us all here, but mainly for having me here because I'm not trendy enough to get into the Ivy. So this is my first time. It's fun. I heard there was a... Po Where's the pool? <clears throat> I'm wearing my swimmers under this. I was really... I, I presume at the end that the cameras will light the curtain and flame off and there'll be a pool behind or something like that. Don't want to give away the big end. But anyway, thank you for having me here. You can just tell the bouncers later that I'm allowed back in. <laughs> Actually, ordinarily for you, it's probably bad if you're here at this time of morning. <laughs> it's been a long night. Look, I want, to thank, I want to thank Leanne, the CEO there, for an amazing speech. What made it amazing was, of course, that that was the CEO who did a speech under five minutes. The PCO in Leanne beat the CEO in Leanne and did a quick speech. <clears throat> Actually, I... Leanne, you shouldn't, don't listen to this bit because I know you're feeling special and everything, but leftover set from Oprah's visit. <laughs> <laughs> Built it specially for you, Leanne, sure. <clears throat> I must say, I'm, I'm quite pleased and relieved that you're all actually sitting down today because I thought with, you know, a room full of 100 PCOs or something, you'd all just be at the back, like standing around the back with <laughs> headphones on, looking at your watches with clipboards or something. The empty tables, everyone's just watching, but it's good to see you're sitting down and watching. And I'm amazed, actually, <clears throat> that because you're all in the business, as soon as somebody speaks, you all shut up. <laughs> you know the drill, it's fantastic. <clears throat> but I want to welcome everybody here from ISIS, MEA, PC PCMA, and the rest of you who live off mice. We hope you enjoy the F and B, especially if you have an SDR. Sit back and watch the AV, it is FOC. We hope to have, have you out of here at the ETD so you can all go to AA. <clears throat> That's Acronyms Anonymous, which is where you need to go in this industry. I, I, have, I do have to apologise. I'm a little bit nervous because, I, I'm like, what is this speaking in the morning thing? This is a bit strange for me, okay? I normally speak at night and I thought, well, you know, there are 100 PCOs there, so they will have ensured that everyone in the audience is drunk by the time I get on. And then I found out you were the audience and there was no drink. So I'm very scared, but anyway, we'll, it's fine. I know, I know no one drinks this time of the morning. Anyone? <laughs> Carl Stefanovic's not here, so no one drinks this. <coughs> I must admit, if I was in your business, I would drink. I mean, if I had anyone say to me, I'm a coliac lacto-vegan who only eats gluten-free halal food, <laughs> and I have a peanut allergy, I would hit the booze straight away. I, want, I, I think the best... You should, the best gig would be to organise for Meat and Livestock Australia. Because that way you put down, are you a vegetarian or vegan? Go away. <laughs> now, um, <clears throat> this big year, 2013, big year for speaking this year. I'm hoping that this year, if somebody says something you object to, you don't have to leave the room, unlike 2012. Was that difficult for you after Alan Jones? Like, if anybody said anything and you objected to it, you have to leave the room immediately. But our speakers tonight, today, this morning, see, tonight, <coughs> because you're all acting drunk. No, <coughs> our speakers today, none of them will make you leave the room. There's some fantastic speakers. Although I must say, the next Ovation Showcase is even better. I don't want, I don't want to give away too much, but the speaker, new speaker, Eddie O'Bead's talk, Hobby Farming for Fun and Profit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Up to 7,000% that he can make out of that talk. It's fantastic. <clears throat> don't do a Q&A afterwards with him, though. The only answer he gives is, I do not recall. But it's, it's still a fantastic speech, so make sure you get to the next one. But today we have some fantastic speakers. We have Kamal Sama, who used to be a monk. It's amazing. You, you may have read the bestseller, the, the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Well, he's like the Australian version of that. Like the monk who sold his Holden Commodore or something like that. <laughs> He's that's in 120Y, but he's fantastic. We have Paul Wallbank speaking later. He's one of the authors of the Internet for Dummies book, which I still found a bit complex. <laughs> I'm hoping he kind of gives a, a dumbed-down summary of that. It's like Internet for Dummies for Dummies today. We also have Narelle Hooper, who was editor of the AFR's Boss magazine. That is a difficult job, because <clears throat> you have to try and decide how to separate 15 different expensive watch adverts. And all you have is three Audi ads in between. It's tough. <laughs> that is a tough job. And it's great to see Narelle here. She's just, she's just left AFR. And this is the first time you've been able to see her not behind a paywall. So it's fantastic to see her. I can't afford to get the AFR. I'm hoping to find out what's in it today from Narelle. 
Now, as it's a showcase, we do want you to um, tweet away. Uh, the, <coughs> the, it's at Ovations I is the, the account, and the hashtag is O Showcase. Something else left over from when Oprah was here, but we won't mention that. <coughs> hashtag O Showcase if you want to. But let's get on with the day. Our